I want to start off by saying happy birthday, brother. 40 never looked so Smell good. Smell me! How does yeah, it I had feel? An unbelievable. I have a, I had an unbelievable birthday weekend. Didn't get no sleep at all. Um, I feel like I'm 25. Um, know that I'm going on 30, so don't say the 40 word again. Not yet. Um, but had an un unbelievable weekend, man. Dropped the EP. Um, had a lot of people in town. Got to chill with the family. Had a little private party with all the family members first, you know what I mean? And then yeah. we got in the streets a little bit, and we shut down Cincinnati this weekend. We had everybody who's who... Um, at the spot. It was good, man. We had a, a lovely weekend. At least someone from Cincinnati showed up this weekend. Oh, my God. <laughs> we'll get into that later, but at least at least, at least, you represented. You know, if anyone was going 165 to. yards passing? Yeah. We'll get, we'll get into it later, Hank. Let's, yeah, yeah, we'll get into it later. Uh, could be cooked. Uh, but Colorado, they did their thing. And uh, a massive improvement from the Oregon game, and we talked about it. USC is a different; it's a different cat than Oregon, right? Uh, they yeah. they get their points in different ways. Their defense is set up different. This was a better match for Colorado, and they damn near came back. If Travis Hunter and Shiloh Sanders are playing that game, it's a it's a totally different game. Totally, totally different, different. But one thing I can say, man, like. We was talking a couple of weeks ago about how Dion is changing the culture up there, and um, what, it, what what's the word they say? A lot uh, when a lot is given, a lot is expected. So um, I just commend Shallow um, the way I'm gonna say Shador the way they, the way they plan up there, bro. Like, cause there's a lot of pressure on them, and for pops too. They're playing really good. They covered the spread this week. No one even thought this would be in within 21 points. So um, yeah. they're doing really good. I'm, I think – I just hate to say it, bro. Like, next year they probably win a national championship. They, they're they going to go to a big bowl game this year. But next year once Pop – I mean, I shouldn't say Pop. Once Dion get his feet wet and um, can just get the guys that he really want after this year, oh, my God. They, $10 million to go back to school? Definitely going back to school. So Shadow is staying on Colorado. He's not going to the NFL. Stan. It's a bold take. Yeah. Would, would you take $10 million to go back to college and have an unbelievable time with pretty much no pressure on you or being the first through the probably 17th, 17th or 20th draft pick when you can go back and be the number one draft pick? Like, it's, it's yeah. just got to make sense. I, I don't think that move makes sense right now. Um He's a really good football player, and like I'm his hard one of his hardest uh, probably critiques. It's just little things that I think that one more year he can fine tune, go work with Brady for another year. Um, it'll be good. Absolutely. So you think fine tune it, get in check, and then become the number one pick in the 2025 draft? Yeah. What's the rush? No rush. He's young. He's the youngest in his class as a quarterback. Most of these quarterbacks right now are 25, 26 years old. So it, it's no rush to jump the broom when it comes to the NFL, I think, as a quarterback if you're, in the, if, if you're in the right situation. Like, he's in the best situation possible that he can be in. There you go. Can't do better than that. They've got a game, though, coming up against ASU, the Sun Devils. This time they're favored. It's rare with this team, but they're favored. Minus four, pack. Who do you like? I like Colorado. Um, Travis Hunter be back. All the all the crew will be back. So uh, I'm gonna take the minus four, and um, I'm going with Colorado. Arizona State, good team, but I don't know if they can match the tempo if everybody's healthy. Yeah, Colorado got in their groove, man. Second half. If if that keeps up, then. Sun Devils didn't have a bad time. Bad time. I'm going with Colorado, minus 4-2. Uh, me and you pretty much pick Colorado every week, but it's cool. It's cool because, you know, <laughs> they, they've been coming through it. So, they've but, become, you know. Except one week. We only lost one week with them. That didn't even happen, you know. I don't even remember. Yeah. So, yeah, doesn't really <clears throat> count. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're rocking with uh, Coach Prime. I'm packing Zach. Let me ask you something, Zach. 
Yes, sir. I've been looking at the media. I know you you watching it because we talk every day besides the show. Do you think that the media? I mean that the. Do you think that people do not like Dion, or do you think that the people don't like the way that the media is kind of letting Dion be college football? I think people get jealous of the rub that he's getting. Just he's like over. He's he's golfed the entire sport and swallowed it. It's only Dion now. Like yeah. my grandparents, my cousins, my aunts and uncles, I've never heard them talk college football besides their favorite team. They're asking me what I think about Dion and Colorado and <laughs> Shador and the hit Travis Hunter. Like, how do you know about, you know? It's really yeah. changing the whole uh, landscape of NIL, college sports, sports in fucking general. Everything. Then we got this asshole, Skip, talking about, oh, it's just black America. Shut the fuck up, Skip, please. Black America. Please, team. can somebody please tell Skip <laughs> to shut the fuck up? So when you saw Skip's comment, you were thinking just shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You have his number? Can you text him that or? Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Someone get that message to Skip Bayless. Shut the fuck up. Please. Fact. <laughs> Facts. Um, let me turn the the page to you. This is something that uh, you know we do talk a lot, but we haven't gone over this. You had your birthday weekend. Um, a lot transpired with one of the league's premier pass rushers, Chandler Jones, um, through social media, through other resources and other things. He was uh, recently they took him into custody, different things like that. I think it opens the the lens and the 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 overall view to a wider discussion of mental health in the NFL as an NFL player. You were in the league for 14 years. You're someone who speaks out on mental health a lot. Um, What's your thoughts on that situation and just the overall mental health landscape that we currently have in the NFL for players? First of all, Jones is a friend of mine, and I think that being silenced is hurting all of us. Like, you got to talk about it. Like, I deal with bipolar. Like, I, I I go see people. I take my medicine. <laughs> you know, I, I know my triggers. But, like, we got to be open about what we're dealing with if we want to be able to deal with it. Um, I think silencing the issue that we're going through is, is, is hurting us way more than talking through it. That's what I would say. So, um, I would just say stop the stig- stigmatism. Listen to yourself. Talk to someone. And um, get better. Like, you can't be afraid to talk about what you're going through. I think that's a big thing in the culture right now. Nobody want to know. Everybody vulnerable about what they're going through or what mental issues or um, sobriety or whatever the hell they're going through. Um, My house is a – I mean, my life is a glass house, so I'm pretty much open to talk about anything. But I really think, like – Sometimes you got to put your pride to the side and just talk about it. It's okay. Like, hey, bro, I'm fucked up right now. Like, okay, how do we get better from this point right now from you being fucked up? You get what I'm saying? So I'm very open with my friends, and I'm so blessed that I got an unbelievable group of people around me to um, help me deal with my stuff. So – like, my whole thing is be open, bro. Talk about it and find out what your triggers is and find out somebody that can help you because you can't do it by yourself when you're dealing with um, mental health. It's, it's just not possible. Like, you can, but you're still going to hit triggers and walls where you're going to need somebody or some doctor or person to have a relationship so you can get past it. So my whole thing is don't be silent, bro. Talk about it. It's okay to say, hey, I'm fucking pissed off today. <laughs> hey, I, I don't I don't feel like this was fair. Or, hey, today I am just down. How do I get up? Like, so to so the people, I would say, do not be silent, please. The silence is not the way to do it. Stay open. Find you somebody that you can cope with or mentor or Doctor, however you want to call it, coach, best friend, dad. But you need to find somebody that you can cope with and talk to. 
instead of being silent. You were in a lot of different locker rooms. How common do you think silence is for people that, that are personally inflicted by this? It's hard for people to talk. Um, I share, I ain't going to say his name, but I played with a guy that was probably one of the best linebackers that i ever seen. And he went through a lot of shit because everybody was saying he was a dirty player. And, like, I would literally see him come in the locker room and just start crying, bro. And, like, I'm probably one of the only ones, like, come here, bro. Come here. We're going to get through this together. And what people don't know is, like, this this, this lead thing, yeah, it's, it's a give and a curse. But it's a lot of pressure, too. It's almost like being a brain surgeon. You can't make the room move or what. They pass away. Um, it's, it's hard. But my whole thing is, bro, you got to you gotta get you somebody you can talk to and find out what your triggers is and, and be open. Open is a big word. O-P-E-N. Open. That means walk in. You're also a big advocate for cannabis, weed. I know you smoked throughout your Smell career. Me. Do you think that would help, guys? I think it does. I don't just push certain things. I was on a boxing, which is a, a bipolar medicine. Been off of that. I smoke. I smoke so much weed. Um, not just to brag on smoking the weed, but it chills me out. Like it's it's my kryptonite. It. I can function. Um, I'm a happy guy on it. It gave me a little perk. Um, it helped me with my pain, um, a little stress. So I'm I'm big in in the cannabis world, and not just weed either. You know, I'm talking about everything in the cannabis world: CBD, gummies, um, live resins, um, anything you can name. Pretty much, I've either try it or I'm still doing when it comes to cannabis. <laughs> so um, cannabis is my way out. That's my relief. Um, I think it's a, it's a great getaway besides taking all these crazy uh, over-the-counter prescription drugs, I would say. Do you think the NFL opening weed up is making it more, you know, less of a – you know, less of a detriment, whatever, Punishment. you know, villainizing yeah. it would so, help out the players? Yeah, but what you got to realize, like, when we – all right, so two years ago, if you get caught with weed, you're in the program. So you're in the program for 365 days. You get tested four times a week. If you flunk the test, you get uh, fined four games the first time, right? The second time, you get suspended four games. The third time, you get suspended eight games. It's a lot of guys that were smoking weed that lost a lot of money because of they were smoking because of pain, mental, physical, or whatever it may be, or what it was. That didn't even get to reach the potential because they were smoking a joint, and they giving us a hundred oxycodones over here and Percocets. You know what I mean <laughs> for the for a, a, a sprained ankle. So I just think that the NFL did a good job of putting it all together and not saying that if you like Percocets, that's cool. I have no problem against whatever a person like. Me personally, I want to smoke weed. You can keep the perks for yourself. I don't want those. So, like, I think the NFL did a good job of combining both of those together to make a medium stance, but it's still unfair. You should, we shouldn't even – the NBA don't get tested for weed. I don't even understand why we getting tested for weed. You know, they still – they raise the um, the limit up in it, but you still get fined. So, I don't know, man. I think tobacco kill more people than weed. Alcohol do too. So, you figure it out. Smart people, figure it out. Yeah, smart guys. Uh, <laughs> on the back of all that conversation, Sunday night, the, the Swifties were out, Chiefs versus Jets, but at the end of the game, uh, Rodney Harrison's interviewing Chris Jones, and it seemed like he was speaking in contempt. It was very weird. Um, speaking about Zach Wilson, now me and you said, hey, maybe this isn't the Jets, you know, franchise guy, but obviously we didn't personally attack him straight after the game. So he's interviewing Zach, Chris Jones, just trying to get him to call him garbage. He says he's garbage, right? He goes, nah, he's a special player. He goes, how is he special? You know, just really trying to get a reaction out of him. What was your thoughts on that? Um, 
Actually, personally, I liked the interview. You liked it? I liked the interview. I liked it. I'm not, I'm not picking no sides on that. The reason why he did that, because of how he played the last two weeks. Did he play good the other night? Mm, you, let's go. Let me see. What did he have? How many yards he had? No, he played all right. So, I understood where he was going with that, but that was just a clip, bait, Zach. Oh, just say he sucks so we can put it in the New York media right now in the morning. That's how I saw it. See it. Yeah. That's how I – he was but, just trying to get Chris Jones to say he sucked. He was. Do Zach Wilson suck? Yes, Zach Wilson suck. I hate to say it. He didn't suck Sunday night. Person. He didn't suck Sunday night. Did they win the fucking game? Did he fumble the ball The cost the loss of the game? Yeah. Okay. He sucked. <laughs> can't can't do better than that. <laughs> that's better not a little that, hard. Boy, you dropped the last goddamn ball. Oh my god. Jesus. Thank you for water. Man, do you know what everybody in the locker room probably said? Man, I be goddamn. The first game he played good, he dropped the goddamn ball so we can win. <laughs> Are you still calling AJ McCarron? Right now, where is he at? Whatever the Bengals paid him, they should be paying AJ McCarron double, right? Hey, bro, come on. I know you can do better than this on your bad day. They're speaking of uh, teams that suck, Thursday night football, Chicago Bears taking on the Washington Commanders. Commanders minus five and a half. But uh, this should we uh, even talk this, about uh, these two teams, bro? Uh, like, we have to talk about Thursday night football. It's like a prerequisite. Um, oh, they unfortunately. But uh, the Bears are they going to get the number one pick again? I just feel bad for Justin, bro. I feel bad for him. He in a lose lose situation. From the front office to the coaches and the players. Ain't nobody getting open. You looking at the game last week. Yeah. It's bad football. It's bad football. That's that, it's a lot of bad football going on in the NFL, I'll tell you right now. And these these two games right here, who cares? Who wins? I don't know. Flip a coin. Yeah, flip a coin. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going Commanders because I, I can't pick the Bears after they lost to the Broncos. But uh, yeah, f- flip a flip a coin. Uh, Goodell, you're, you're not giving us your best on Thursday Night Football. That, that's not cool. Mm. Hey, hey, well, he can't pick that. Like, I, I really thought the Bears would be way better than what they are right now. They got a good running. They had a good running game. The defense is okay. Then they went and got the pieces on offense as far as wide receivers. But Claypool, have you seen Claypool this year? Is he playing? Who I'm, has? I haven't no. heard his, They're trying to I trade him for a six-round pick. Or nothing. He doesn't try on the field, and off the field he's complaining. Love him as a person. Not a dog. We're looking for dogs. We thought They thought we had a dog when they brought him in. He ain't a dog. I'm going to take Chicago, though, with a plus five and a half. Sorry, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna roll Washington minus five and a half. But no, Chase Claypool. I think he needs a mentor in his life or someone to sit him down and just put you know put in the scope of things what what his future is because he might not have a future in the NFL if he keeps us up. And it's a shame because nah. he's supremely talented. He was. He just you got to have dog in the league, bro. That's all I'm saying. Everybody yeah. is good. And that's what people don't realize. Like, everybody is good. Zach Wilson has realized that recently. Uh, Jaguars, Bills. (laughs) (laughs) Bills coming off a huge victory. They laid a smack down on the Dolphins. Yeah. Bills minus five and a half. This is is international, though. They're, They're getting freaky with it. So it's a morning game. No one's home. No one's away. Pack, what do you think? 
I don't know. Josh Ash- Josh Allen had a hell of a performance last week. Phew. Twenty-one of what? Twenty-five, three hundred and twenty yards. Bro, Diggs had six catches for one twenty. Now he think he could be the best cornerback in the league. MVP. I don't know, man. I I just think um I think the Bills are rolling right now, and they don't have as much pressure on them as they had in the past as far as last year. Everybody was thinking the Bills was going to win the Super Bowl um, with Von Miller being hurt. Um, a lot of guys are not in like the mix right now, and they don't have the spotlight on them. Um, I like the Bills. I'll take the Bills. And, and Trevor Lawrence, man, Trevor Lawrence was 23 of 30 for 207 yards uh, last week and one touchdown. Like, and we've been blowing him up like he's the best thing walking around here. Mm, is he? Is he? He's not getting that know. much help. They, well, I'm saying they won the game. I'm not saying nothing about them winning the game. But mm, he's not the top elite quarterback group. I just That's my opinion. Who you got? I think Calvin Ridley's got to catch the damn ball too. Uh, I oof. Um, hmm, I, I'm tired of doubting the Bills. I'm gonna go Bills minus five and a half too. But I did. I thought it was a step in the right direction for Jacksonville against a, a tough Atlanta team. You know, a gritty team. They came in, handled yeah. business. Quarters one through four. Um, offensive line wasn't abysmal like it had been recently. Because I was getting ready to say send that O line to Canada, dog. Like they don't belong in the NFL. But they came through. They were respectable. You know, Calvin really yeah. wasn't dropping every ball that was coming to him. So, I think step in the, the right direction for those guys. Giants, Dolphins. Oh, my God, are the Giants bad. How bad? <laughs> really I said, bad. I said oh they were they God. were the most overrated team week one. I didn't think they would be this bad. They are really, really bad. And who looks really dumb are all the analysts that said Daniel Jones was the best quarterback in the NFC East. I'm looking at you, Tiki Barber. Bruh. Come on, dude. Bro, I've look, look been now. telling all these people that Jones was a, a fart, bro. I couldn't this understand how he tricked these folks into all this money. And then don't pay Saquon. Yeah. But you pay bro, him. Bro, this is crazy, but you got to understand the game. Um, What was he last week? Let's Let's – what was his stats? Hold on. He, had he has two passing touchdowns this year. He had, he, also, he had 203 yards. He was 27-34 with two. How many? Two INTs. He was That's sacked 11 times. Money. Yeah. And it wasn't patented. all the offensive line. Not that they're doing and him any patented. favors. He's running into the fucking defenders. Oh, my God. He doesn't have pocket presence right now. He's a deer in the headlights. Like, he's, he's – God, it's bad. And yeah, I don't man, know what um, – bro, they also need goddamn wide receivers. I don't know why they thought Wandale Robinson should be the number one wide receiver. I like Wandale Robinson. Or Darren Waller, he's 31 years old. He's a tight end. Like, th- th- these are not sufficient targets for a guy who needs as much help as he can get in 2023. And then you don't want to secure Saquon long-term. If Saquon's gone – what is this team going to look like? You might as well just go for the number one pick. Well, they might be going for the number one pick the way they're looking. They might. Everything they, should they're go through, damn near in everything, it. Everything should go through Saquon when it comes to this team. Everybody was talking about uh, Jones. Jones is not accurate at all. Like, bro, he's a great – he's a good quarterback. He's a fake Josh Allen is what he is. But he ain't no dog. No. He, he, he has low-key wheels, though. He is fast. But he's not better than Jalen Hurts. He's not better than Dak Prescott. No, quit, he and I ain't even the it. top 15 quarterbacks, bro. Nah, quit it. Quit it. Quit it. it did too much smoke. Too quick. The Dolphins yeah. got, back, got brought back down to earth, though. Because the, the Bills laid it on them. Yeah, they did. They're going to be looking yeah. to bounce back, though. If they're minus 11. But, pack, who do you like? Um... The Bills just had an unbelievable week last week. I, I yeah, think they, that's my personally opinion. Um, but I'm with the Dolphins. I like the Dolphins minus 11 points. I don't think nobody can stick up with that fast-paced offense that they got. Um, the Bills did. They played good last week. Tua didn't play his best game last week. Um, the guy started off a little slow. 
But um, the Giants is, have not gave me one reason to say they won't lose by two touchdowns. No. They haven't for me either. I keep picking against them, and it keeps working, so I'm going to go with Dolphins minus 11. Also, Devin Achain, he looks like the closest thing we've had to Chris Johnson since Chris Johnson. So he's smell me. Uh, yeah, he is. Monster. Monster. Like, he's got to be the building block along with Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle. Pack, we alluded to this team earlier, but now we're going to get your thoughts. Who day? Cincinnati oh Bengals my God. versus the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, oh let me just let me just God. let me ask this. Let me ask this. Are the Cincinnati Bengals cooked? No, we're not cooked. We got Joe Burrow. Is Joe Burrow himself? Yes. If we know he hurt, but it's getting better. It's getting better and better. Only thing like we gotta put it, we gotta put him up on the center a little bit more, and use Joe Mixon uh, to get down here. We had 16 carries last week at running back. We can't fucking do that when Joe is not 100. percent We gotta fucking run the ball at least 20 times, and then move to play action and get the guys in space. Right now we is we we just West Coast offense because Joe really can't move. I think, um, but I believe in Joe. We'll make the playoffs. We'll make the run. And everybody be like, oh, we back in the AFC fucking championship. You know what I'm saying? And figuring out if we're going to the Super Bowl or not. But I think I hate this game right here because of the quarterback Dobbs for Arizona. He was in Cleveland. It's just some about these guys that's fucking coming from Cleveland. Um, but I'm going with the Bengals minus three again in Arizona. Yeah, and the Cardinals are a resilient bunch. Like they keep. They're, they're sticking to teams that they shouldn't that they have no business being in there no with, right? way they the should team. be in the game bro yeah Even they keep week. doing it over and over um god when they beat the cowboys like pfft. and the Bengals are losing the teams that they have no business losing to yeah but we and haven't bad played we haven't played no good. we haven't played we no. haven't played a good game this year yet and no. we've been in every game where we should have made a play to either win the game or be in the game. Last week, we didn't make plays to get in the game. The weeks before that, the last three weeks before that, we was in every one of those games, and we played the worst football that we've played in the last 20 weeks of Bengals football. So Yeah, the Bengals got to turn it around. Get better. The shit can't get no worse. No, you can't get worse. I agree with that. The I'm one week Bengals. I picked the damn Bengals, they got smoked. So I, I, I'm gonna, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be nice. I'm just gonna go against the Bengals here. I'm gonna take yes. Cardinals plus three. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to curse Let's them, go. you know. Let's um, go. Eagles, Rams, Eagles minus four. The Eagles are flying under the radar. We haven't even really talked about them. They're off to like the quietest undefeated start because low key it looks like they're not really. Playing that well, but they find a way to squeak out with the win. But you are what your record says you are. And they are oh, we know. That's what the legendary B Bill Parcell said. They're taking on the Rams in L.A. Eagles minus four pack. Who do you like? I like Eagles. Eagles defense is so nasty right now with Slade, with Jalen, the young boy, and the other boy from Georgia. Like, they're playing fast as hell. And they are very physical. We know Philly is a hostile environment when you go in there, even when they go on the road. I don't even know how many people you're going to think going to be in the crowd for Los, uh, for the Rams at the game. I don't and so know. Far. I know the Philly travel deep. Um, and sometimes they don't play up the par. Last week they, they offense was, uh, but they played really good. And they, they gave up some dumb plays. But at the end of the day, they, they win. Good teams know how to win when they play bad. So – I'm taking the Eagles. Um, can't wait for that little minus four. Yeah, I had some strong thoughts on the Eagles-Commanders game. I hated Ron Rivera's call to go for the extra point. Hated it with every it, inch of my body. I would, I would fire my coach for doing that. You're in Lincoln <laughs> Financial Field. You're going against the defending NFC champs. No one's expecting you to be in this game. Your offense is rolling. You have a chance to stick a knife in their throat. And you play like a bitch and you go for the extra point? <laughs> you you kidding me, bruh? 
Come on, I mean, dog. It goes to OT. Two. Of course they go three and out. Of course. And then they fucking lose. Yeah. Anyone could have told you that was going to happen. You're playing the Eagles. You don't give them a second chance. You're lucky you're in the game. You're, you At just home. got down the field. You tell Eric and enemy, you draw me up a play, and you go out there and you win me that game, Sam Howell. And no one would have gotten mad if they didn't convert. No one expected you to be in there with the Eagles. And if I'm an Eagles fan and I see the uh, Ron Rivera calling, I'm I'm happy. I'm like, thank God he didn't go for two because our defense wasn't looking right. Thank God he did us a favor. Because you know you're going to win an OT. <laughs> Gave that game away. Should be fired for that. That's ridiculous. Terrible. Him and Josh McDaniels need road. to learn how to coach. On the road, too. Hashtag Coach mm-hmm. Pack to, to Washington because – Something's not right there. Um, Smell me, man. I, I I'm gonna go. I, mm, I I think the Eagles win. I think it's another close one. I think they win by a field goal though. I'm gonna go with Rams plus four. Damn. I don't see them winning by too much because they just aren't that great so far. That's the division game. You forget that Washington game is a division game. No, I'm talking about they the the, the Rams two. Eagles. Oh, you're saying no, the, the, boy, the, the, there was a division yeah, game. That's why it was tough. Washington but they were also Eagles close with the Patriots. Div- hey, hey, bro. Washington Eagles is a division game. They see them two times yeah. a year. Trust yeah, yeah, me. but That's like, a whole lot bro, different. Like, Just trust what I'm lost telling to Mac you. Mac Jones, too. Just trust what I'm telling you. Yeah. Those are the hardest games. The Kansas City Taylor Swift's taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Oh, oh, oh. Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift gonna minus be there. five. If Taylor oh, yeah. Swift going to be there, I'm taking No, she's not going five. to Minnesota, dog. She will know, man. If she goes to Minnesota, then well, let's just have the wedding. Like, like I right bet after. you she'd be there. Let's bet. That's bet true love. I, I, That's true love. I bet you honey she'd be there. I don't, it I don't ain't cold yet. It's cash, nice man. in Minnesota still. Maybe 10 bucks. Uh, yeah, it is, but who the hell, what, what is she going to do, go, go to the mall? I mean, there's not much there. I guess she's got a private jet, so she's in and out. Hey, man, Best Buy is there. Huh, that, that's a good park. I never never thought about it yeah. like that. The headquarters is really um. nice there. <laughs> if anyone was looking into Minnesota for their vacation plans, which literally no one ever has done, yeah. Order from Pack. I have Mall of America and go and see uh, the Best Buy uh, headquarters and meet Mr. Best Buy. All right. So Taylor Swift, Pretty just if, I know you're watching because you know everyone's watching this. So <laughs> when you go, go to the Mall of America and go to the Best Buy headquarters. Smell if, me. You're, if you're nice enough, Pack will give you a tour. Yeah. Well, not giving her a tour. Oh, you're not giving her a tour. No, no, I'm not going to there. What if she called you? She was like, Pac, I need a tour. I watch Pac and Zach, I need it. Nah. Too bad. I think, I think, do you, do you, you think that would, uh, you think you guys would have bad blood at that point or? No. I'm crazy. Now we got into bad it. blood. Me and Swifty mm-hmm. would love each other. Mm-hmm. It's my girl. Right. I'm a Swifty fan. All right, you're a Swifty. Yeah. So I'm not a Swifty. F them. We can't be on the same page. Uh, Chiefs minus yeah. five. Pack, who do you like? I'm going Chiefs. Minus five. Cannot go with your boy up in Minnesota. Kurt, Kurt, Kurt is not a dog. Yeah, and Mahomes yeah. did not look like himself last week. I'm imagining he's going to bounce back. The Jets game was too close for comfort. I'm going to go with the Chiefs minus 5-2. But, God, that's got to suck for the Vikings if they lose again. That's got to really suck. Hey, man, any given Sunday. This is a must win for them. Yeah, this Uh, is a must win for Minnesota. Yeah, their back's against the wall. Yeah. I kind of told you going into this year, the two most Mickey Mouse teams, which means lucky teams, was the Giants and the Vikings because they were getting every damn close game, every break you can get, and it's showing this year. And it showed in the playoffs oh, yeah. last year when the Vikings got upset and the Giants got smacked. And a lot of these, like, this year is going to be crazy, bro. It's going to be a lot of teams that's going to be like, what, 9 and 8, 
Yeah. Gonna win the division. Maybe eight and eight right now. The way the season, we only got what two under. What, shit, this shit is back and forth. Yeah, it's actually though the top teams are very similar. It's still Philly, San Fran, Dallas, Buffalo, Kansas City. The Dallas Dolphins lost have a chance one, to thought. enter. Yeah, they did. Dallas they lost did. One. So the only yeah. undefeated Dallas, teams are San yeah. Fran and Philly. But yeah. Dallas is playing one of the undefeated teams this week. So whoever wins that one, you'd have to say, is either number one or number two. Cowboys 49ers. 49ers minus three and a half. They're playing in Santa Clara. These are probably the two hottest teams in the league. The Cowboys just handed Bill Belichick his biggest loss he's ever had. They smacked the brakes off of the Patriots, made them look like a college football team or something yes. rather. Adam yeah. Mac Jones had to get benched. It was bad. It was ugly. Uh, the 49ers, though, Christian McCaffrey is like an MVP candidate. Dog. Four touchdowns. Are you kidding me? What? Dog. Did you see the clip? From the longest yard with Stone Cold Steve Austin, and they're like, "This is how I imagine Christian McCaffrey is," and he's like, yes. "That's how a white man runs a football." Um, it's funny shit, but yeah, the Christian McCaffrey is murking teams, dog, murking them. Hey, bro, he had 18 carries for 85 yards and one touchdown. Is that a lot of yards? No, but the things that he do when he get the ball in his hand, it make look make him look like he's doing a whole lot. But we got to go back and talk about the head coach. This guy Shanahan is calling up plays. Do you hear me? Like, yeah. he's by far um, top two best offensive coordinator that's in the league right now. Like, he is he is dialing them up. Everybody is open to play action, the up-tempo speed. Um, I'm eager to see if Dallas will be disciplined enough on the defensive side of the ball to handle this. Um, I'm going to go San Francisco, minus three and a half. That's the question, right? Are do they have the discipline to stay in their run gaps, right? And limit yeah. that offense. And they did it in the playoffs, but Dak just couldn't do a goddamn thing, so it didn't matter. So this is these are two juggernaut teams. Playoff Dak. Uh, two teams great offensive and defensively. So it's gonna be uh you don't get better than this, Sunday night football. Uh, I'm gonna roll with the Cowboys plus three and a half. <laughs> Love what I saw out of them. I thinking Mike is going to be healthy. He's going to be rolling. They're a handful to deal with, and I just think it's going to be tough to beat that team three straight times, like the 40, for the 49ers, you know? So I'm rolling with Dallas. I smell you. All right. As long as you smell it. Uh, Packers, you? Raiders. Hey, that's going to be Monday hey, hold night. On, I hold on. I don't mean to interrupt you. That's going to be what? our new shit that you just said. You just it made me think of something. Who smell right. you? I smell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who smell you? I smell you. That we gonna have to kick that sometimes on the show. I'm like, when you say something good, I'm like, who smell you? I smell you. That'll be a good one on here. Probably had to get that That's t-shirt one. made too. But go ahead. Make sure y'all t-shirt. record that so we don't forget that one. T-shirt. Who smell you? I smell you. By Zach and Pack. All right, go ahead. Let's finish the last one. Packers Raiders Monday night. The Raiders, Jimmy God, G was Packers out with a concussion. The they lost. Oh, shit. What happened, man? Packers cost us all the money last week. Fucking never, never land. You bet on them? Yeah, I did. Should have listened to me. I picked the Because lines. I thought the scenery wasn't going to be good enough. But obviously it was. <laughs> the Lions went in there yeah. and fucking walked right through their ass. Is Jordan Love really Dog a quarterback, bro? Him. Is he a quarterback? Tell me, is he a quarterback? Yes or no? I want to know. What's your opinion? Yes. All right. What did you see that was different <laughs> than what I seen? It, it was ugly. I, did that, that strike, though, to end the third quarter? The flashes are there. It's his first season starting. Well, this is I, for I all the people that own a part of the Green Bay uh, Packers that's all season ticket holders. Let me let y'all know now. Public service announcement. He is not Aaron Rodgers, and he damn sure is not Brett Favre. So everything y'all did on the offseason to kick A-Rod up out of that, it was, this probably was the worst investment that y'all have had as owners 
and seat. Uh, uh, what is it? Because you know everybody in the stadium on the seat. What is it called? Uh, uh, part owners of of a team. Mm, shame I'm a part owner you. of the team. That gym, shame on you. Mm. Shame on you. I'm a part owner of the team. I actually, uh, I have my certificate and everything. And uh, th- that was actually my idea, unfortunately. I, I told them, hey, <laughs> kick A-Rod to the curb. We got to get Jordan Love in there. <laughs> we, we have owners meetings, <laughs> all two million of us. And uh, yeah. I was kind of like the, the leader of the pack. One could say, and uh, I, I did, I did predict that one. But uh, no, you know, I'm not biased. I, I did pick the Lions last week. I don't just go with uh, my sure team. Did. Also, also, my mother watches this show, so she is a. She says this every week. She wants me to let you know that her stepfather was Max McGee, and he caught the first touchdown in the first ever Super Bowl from Bart Starr. As a Green Bay Packer, <laughs> she said it's very important that you know this. I said we don't discuss the 1960s Packers. It's more like 2023 Packers. But she said it's important that we get that out there. Tell Mama. And he I'm did catch the that. first touchdown. Happy to know. So are, are you kind of salty the Packers scorned you and lost you that money? So are you going to go against them this week? They're minus two. <sighs> Why wouldn't I go against them? The way the Josh Devontae McDaniels the is terrible last week, though, and he's playing pretty good. Um, yeah, he's yeah, he's pretty damn good. Can't can't argue with, with that one. I'm going I'm going with Raiders at home. They got to fucking win the game, bro. It's time for the Raiders to win the game. I'm going with Packers. God damn it! Didn't you go with the Packers last week, or did you go? With the no, Lions? I went with the Lions. Uh, I'm not yeah, doubting my Lions. They're nice, son. I'm going Vegas. Because right, what happened in Vegas, Vegas stays, in, stays Vegas. in Vegas. This has been Running It Back with Pack and Zach, presented by Bet Online.